Good morning. Today's topic, I'm just going to show you. This is what they turn out after four coats of the PC Petrifier. Um, I'm not going to pull them off yet because I've still got to glaze them. But they are, let's see. They're very hard. Oh, wait, that was may have been my nail. Nope, that wasn't my nail. That was them. Anyway, they're hard. And they're not as shiny as the other one, other glaze I used. But the other glaze I was using was a lot thicker than this. So I only needed to put one coat on the other one. But um, I like how this stuff works. And inside, you can actually... Mm, <laughs> I won't need to worry about using uh, this tool because... I've already looked, and my goodness, if I stop dropping stuff everywhere, was this the one I was holding? Uh, nope, this one was. All right, so I've already looked, and I'm not going to need to stick my um, tool down into these uh, because there, there's already plenty of a hole in these. So as you can see. They have a shine, but I want more of a shine. So what I've been doing between coats is I'll just break them apart. And, oh, I can't really do this one-handed. But anyway, they, they, break, they break apart pretty easy. They, they break apart pretty easy. So, and, but um, I don't have much room to work with with one hand. But anyway, I break them apart so they they slide around on the on the on my uh, fishing fishing wire or string actually, and um, sorry, my glasses were falling off my head. I had to put them back on. Um, anyway, so I've got to do that. So I just kind of put my uh, PC petrifier stuff in this container and I just dip them for. There we go. I dip them for, so I'll take my, where's the one I was just holding? Here it is. And I'll dip them in here and they'll, they fold better if you actually make it so they move around and they'll actually sit in there nicely. And so I'll sit them in there and let them go for 15 seconds and then I'll pull them out and I'll put them on my drying rack. And I already showed a picture of that. So, um. And I only have these sitting on a uh, container here, or a little thing here, just in case they're not dry at the bottom. The beads are dry, but maybe not the bee, the the button. But they seem to be dry. I mean, I let them dry for several, a couple, several hours this morning already. So, um, anyway, I just figured I would make a short little video just to show you how shiny they are. And I did quite a few of like these kind let's see if I can um these were those barrel ones that I didn't really like and they actually turned out pretty good oh I like that one because it said eek <laughs> but um and then this pink one was one of my other favorites because I, I don't know I just it the pattern of it just turned out fine and they darkened the beads I didn't expect them to they uh darkened more than uh, I expected them to so I'm gonna add my shiny coat to these and maybe if they look cool and they dry in time I will video what they look like um, Yeah for later. All right. Bye